I was going through Swiss Ed's Teller's awesome course, React for Data Visualization, and I saw this example, which uses Victory Charts, a library for making uh, visualizations. And I thought, what if we could pull in the data from a CSV file? So I fired up VizHub, and I reproduced the code example in here. We're importing from Victory, which is loading from Unpackage here. And this is just the same example from uh, the course. We're importing victory bar and victory chart, and we're just sort of using the victory boilerplate to uh, make this bar chart. Super simple, right? But the thing is, our data is coming from this variable right here. But what I'd like to do is have the data come from data.csv instead. So that's what I'm going to do here, is modify this code to load in the data from data.csv and we're going to use React hooks to do this. To actually load the CSV file, I'm going to use uh, the D3 utility called CSV. So we can say import CSV from D3. Inside of our app component, I'm going to convert this to a function that has a body, and then this will return our victory chart now we can put stuff in the body of this component and following the React hooks way, I'm going to put this side effect of loading the CSV file inside of a use effect. And we need to import use effect from React. The first argument to use effect will be a function. And the second argument will be an array with zero elements to tell use effect to just run once. Inside here, we can say CSV, invoking CSV imported from D3. And then we want to load data.csv. This returns a promise, so we can say dot then and pass a callback that takes as input the data. And just as a sanity check, I'm going to say console.log data. In the dev tools, we see that, OK, this worked. Next, we want to expose this data to our victory chart and ultimately pass it in here. So I'm going to comment out this hard-coded data array. And instead of console.logging the data, I really just want to set data, which will be uh, part of our state. So let's use the uh, use state hook. And our state will be called data and the hook returns the value and also a setter set data and this is going to be use state and the initial state will be undefined so this should be working so far let me just uh, bring back the console.log data and see what's happening in the dev tools I'm getting these errors so I'm just gonna say the data is an empty array for now just to suppress those errors OK, so what we're seeing is console.log data is telling us it's undefined on the first render. And that makes sense, because on the first render, use effect hasn't run yet. But after we load the CSV and call set data, this component renders again. And that's where it, con it logs out this actual array. And now we know that if you pass an empty array to the victory bar component, it doesn't totally break. So I think that's an OK intermediate state to have while the data is loading. So therefore, I'm going to initiate or initialize our state to be an empty array for data and then pass in data here to victory bar. All right, it should be working, but I just need to update x and y here. And in our data, we've got country and population. So I'll say, OK, x is country, y is population. OK, it's sort of working, but it's sort of messed up as well. All right, well, Victory is not rendering the chart properly, but this is how you can use uh, the use effect and use state hooks to fetch a, a CSV file. Oh, maybe I need to parse the data, actually. Wait a minute. The population values uh, are, they should be numbers, but they're strings here. so. Why don't I just parse the strings into numbers and see if that helps? 
I think we can pass the row accessor as the second argument to d3.csv. And I'll define row to be a function that takes as input d. And it's just going to mutate d. d is one of our rows. So we return d. And in the body of this function, we say d.population equals plus d.population. Oops, I forgot d. Plus d dot population. All right, check it out. It worked. Take a look at this function here. It takes as input data and just passes data into set data. So it's actually sort of degenerate. It's more complicated than it needs to be. We can just pass in set data like that, and it still works. And I'll just do some cleanup and get rid of console.log and this dead code up there. All right, well, there we have it. That's how we can modify this victory example to load some data from a CSV file using React hooks in D3. So thanks for watching. Take care.